Hey everybody, welcome to Harmon Garage. I'm Aaron, and uh, we're still pushing through trying to get this groundskeeper done. Uh, as you saw where I left off in the last video, I got the front fenders, bumper hood, a couple of the lights, all that kind of stuff on. Today I'm going to finish up the front end. I mentioned that I uh, couldn't do the grill and the headlight doors because I had to put this trim on first and it needed some work. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the passenger side. It's got a little dent in it right there, but it's not too bad. And it's got a little ding right there that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix, but we'll try. And then this is the driver's side. And it looks like hammered dog poop. So speaking of hammers, I'm gonna take that and uh, Try to straighten it out as much as I can, make it look halfway decent. I'm gonna show you a little technique I got for doing that. And uh, I'll get that knocked out. Once I get those straightened out, I'll put the headlight buckets and the headlights in. I'll put the headlight doors on. I can put the grill on. And uh, pretty much everything up here will be done. And then I'm going to move on and get this bed straightened up where it needs to be we'll hook up the fuel filler neck we'll put the tail light harness and everything back in install the tail lights and then we've got our roll pan down here so that's the plan for today i've got a couple other little things that i need to get done i still got to put the starter in i still got to change out the speedometer cable install the battery battery cables i'm not really in a hurry to hook those up yet because i still have everything unhooked inside the truck but that's what we're going to try to get done so i'm going to put this camera down and get to it okay so to get this going i got a block of wood here that's pretty soft with another piece of wood on top of it that's soft also i don't want to use like a metal workbench or a hammer or dolly or anything on this because i want what i'm hitting to have a little bit of forgiveness i don't want it to you know be banging real hard and leaving hammer marks in it so this little dent right here i think i can just take my flat tip body hammer here and go right on that body line and i think we can probably just pop that right out real simple Once again, I'm not beating on it. I don't want to hit it really hard. It's very soft metal. I'm trying my best not to leave any hammer marks in it. it may kind of be a little bit inevitable, but it uh, won't be too bad. Alright, I got that pretty straight. It's a lot better than it was. It's not perfect, perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. This was the good one. And then we've got this one. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with this. This whole thing is dented and beat. But I'm just going to try my best and see what happens.
Okay, making a little bit of progress. Not great, but something. So uh, I'm going to keep tapping on it and see how it does. Alright, not gonna say it's good or even decent for that matter, but at least it's not smashed anymore. I'm gonna try and see if I can find some more of this trim. It's not a very common one that you see a lot. Usually they got the trim with the step in it. And honestly, if I even had any of that trim right now, I'd probably just put it on, but I don't. So, we'll, uh, straighten it out a little bit more, we'll put it on there, see what happens. Alright, well I was going to film more of the process for you guys since it's the weekend and I'm just putting in a couple hours trying to get where I wanted to be by the end of the weekend. But, I started working and didn't film. But, I got my trim that I fixed up on there. It had some black paint and stuff on it, so I ended up sanding it down with 320. And then I took gray scotch bright and gave it like a brush look. This side over here, up close, doesn't look perfect. But from right about here, it looks great. So, if I can find a new piece to put on there, I'll put it on. Otherwise, I'm going to have to run with that one for now. Excuse me. My dad came over to help me out. We got the bed all squared up. Mounted. All the bolts are in and mounted. And then while he was here helping me, we went ahead and put the roll pan on too. So... Roll pan is done. Bed is mounted. The only thing I got left to do is put the lights in back here. Well, run the wires up and put the lights in. But that's pretty quick and easy. And the backing pieces that go in there that the light bulbs twist into, somebody had painted them black. Well, not only are they supposed to be silver but being silver also helps to project the light out so i got them over here in the paint booth got them painted silver so i'm gonna let them sit the rest of the weekend to dry and then they'll go in and the wiring harness and that'll go in in a few minutes and the back of the truck will be done and then i went ahead and put a coat of paint on the grill too because uh we got brand new headlight doors for it and I didn't want to put the new shiny silver headlight doors in with the old dingy grill. So I put a coat of paint on it. I've rushed with painting stuff enough in the past that I know it doesn't take that long to put the grill and the stuff on the front. It doesn't take that long to put the lights on the back rather than smearing paint and getting it all over myself and the rest of the truck and everything else. I'm gonna let them sit. I'll put them on on Monday and uh, just be better off. Like I said, it, if I've got an hour in finishing the front end and finishing the back, I'll be really surprised. It's not gonna take that long. And I gotta stop at the store and get uh, one more headlight adjuster because I'm missing one. So, but. Pop the two headlights in, pop the grill, headlight doors in, bing, bang, boom, done. Fish the wiring harness through in the back, screw, hook them on the backing plates, four screws, four screws for the lens, bing, bang, boom, done. So an hour into my day, Monday, 
I will be where I wanted to be starting off Monday, which I don't consider being that bad. So I'm going to go home, spend some time with my kids, and I'll be back with you first thing Monday morning. All right, it's Monday morning. Five days, finish this truck for the show. And uh, just going to keep going, study progress, and hopefully get it done. First thing this morning, I'm going to put the windshield in the back cab window in to get that done and out of the way and uh, I've already got my seal in there and got a windshield out of another truck over here all cleaned up ready to go my dad's here helping me this morning so we're just gonna get the windows put in and keep moving on Well, I'm getting in a little bit of a hurry and whatnot, and the windshield that I was putting in this thing came out of another truck and it had a little chip right at the edge and figured as long as I was careful and whatnot, it would uh, go in okay and be fine. And it didn't, I broke it. So I don't know how well you guys can see this, but Got a crack that runs all the way down here, so. It had a big scratch that runs along the, where the wipers went and everything anyways, so. Got another windshield ordered. It'll be here first thing in the morning. I don't usually like using the aftermarket ones because they're a lot thinner, but don't have an option this time. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and move on and get the back window in the cab. And then I'll move on and get some other stuff done. And when that windshield comes in in the morning, we'll get it in and hopefully not break it. took a long time and a lot of derogatory words but we were able to get the back window in the truck it fought us quite a bit but it looks good and little interruption in the normally scheduled program here one of my buddies who is also him and his wife are avid viewers of the channel and I say wife because I want to congratulate Jeff and Cheryl because they got married today and they've been really good supporters of the channel and I talk to them a lot and I just want to congratulate them. So congratulations Jeff and Cheryl and uh, hope you guys are enjoying your recent marriage. So I'm going to move on, get the tail lights in, get the headlights and the grill and stuff that I was supposed to do the other day in. And we'll keep moving, see how much we can get done today. All right, I'm getting the tail lights put back in. Not that big a deal. The hardest part's fishing the wiring back up through. Honestly, if I'd have known we were going to wrap this from the get-go, probably never would have pulled this wiring down through there because you can just unplug it at the back of the bed here and take the bed off and you don't even have to pull it out. You can leave the harness with the bed. So. But it comes through fairly easy, like in the front, putting new light bulbs and everything. All new lenses on everything. So.
Getting our bulbs in. Let me grab the lens, I thought I brought it over here. Alright, a big percentage of the time when you order these lem lenses, they come with uh, trim on them for like the Silverado and the Scottsdale and whatnot trim packages. This was a custom deluxe, it never had trim on, so we're not going to put it on. Just take that off, toss it to the side. Same thing with if you have the Scottsdale or the Silverado package or something that has the trim on it. If you get lights that doesn't have the trim and you want the trim, they just got little tabs on the edges that fold over. You can just peel them tabs back and take the trim off, put it on the new lights or whatever. I'm not a trim type of person. I don't like chrome. I don't like shiny. I don't like trim. I just, I take everything off. So that's personal preference. Everybody's got their own liking. This truck, if it would have had trim on it, it'd go back on because we're recreating something that it was. Luckily, it didn't have any trim on it. Didn't even have chrome bumpers. It was all uh, everything's painted, so that's nice. The only thing shiny on the outside of this truck is going to be the uh, door handles. So. Alright, I already got the other side done. So I'm going to move up and start putting the headlights, grill, headlight doors, etc. in. And uh, I'll film some of that for you guys. And then when I get done, I'll do a walk around and show you with all the lights done. So here we go. Alright. First thing I'm going to do is get my headlights and headlight buckets back in. took my headlights and buckets apart so we're gonna put our spring in get it hooked
get our bucket in there. Get it in both the adjusters, which is what I'm working on right now. Maybe. Now like I've always done before, let's go ahead and kind of eyeball where these need to be for now. Then we can adjust them later. Looks pretty good. This one up a little bit. That looks pretty good. Got new headlights. stabbed in there. Get the other side done and we'll move on to the headlight doors and the grill. Alright, well, oh, I didn't get as much accomplished today as I'd have liked to, but it's Monday. I got four full days to finish this truck, and uh, I'm going to finish it. So, I scheduled myself out to finish the truck Wednesday evening, which left me two days for air, so I should be fine. But, anyways, I got taillights all on. They're done. The only thing we have left to do from the cab back is bed liner. I got the front all finished up. Headlight, headlight doors, grill. It's all in there. The only thing I got left to do up here is adjust the adjust the fenders and the hood tighten all that down and uh put the starter in and hook it up i got the battery tray and the battery in this afternoon just had to let you stare at that for a minute it looks pretty good um what else I think that's about it for what I accomplished this afternoon. I gotta go pick up the new windshield first thing in the morning. Hopefully I can get it in quick. And uh, all the rest of the parts that we've been waiting on have showed up. So they're over at the owner's house. He's getting the tires for it tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. He's coming over first thing Wednesday morning. Hopefully I'm at a point where I can throw the weather stripping in the doors throw the tires on it and we'll be down to just a little bit um i finally made a punch list and i usually wait until the last minute but we're about as close to the last minute as you can get i made a punch list i'm kind of wishing i wouldn't have because it's a little bit bigger than uh i wanted to admit it was but it's still not that bad 
a lot of little five minute stuff that's going to take 30 minutes so i'll show you guys that real quick i got all the grounds for the wiring harness that go on the firewall still need to be done battery cables cooling overflow bottle i got the tranny cooler lines in but they're not hooked up to the transmission yet so i just got to go under there and screw those on starter uh, i already put the battery in i can cross that off snorkel that's just a matter of sticking that on there that's easy got to clean and paint the hood latch put it on i haven't put the bolts that go from the fenders to the inner fenders yet no big deal clean and paint the cab floor clean and paint the bed floor bolt the seat in seats already done not a big deal speedo cable the one that's in the truck is bad i have to replace it from the parts truck gauge cluster windshield vent windows door glass dash pad interior interior fill the truck up with fluids bleed the brakes start it time the motor throw the wheels and tires on mirrors and uh just a bunch of little just a bunch of little stuff it's five minutes here five minutes there which is going to take 30 minutes here and an hour there and you know how it goes but I'm going to finish this truck. I know I keep saying that, but I have to keep telling myself that so that I don't get down about it, I guess. I'm going to finish it. It will be done. I will make it to my son's football game Friday night. So I'm going to um, continue this video on tomorrow, get a little bit more stuff done, and then I'll put the video up for you guys. And then I'll try to get one more video of finishing the truck before the show saturday i don't know if i'll get it posted before the show but i'll have another video of the truck before the show so it's getting dark outside my wife's already mad at me so i'm gonna go home eat some dinner rest a little bit and get back on this thing first thing in the morning all right it's tuesday morning and uh take two on the windshield SNS body shop and reform really came through for me and got me a new windshield overnight at a reasonable price. So we're going to get started and see if we can get this one in without breaking it. As you saw on the time lapse got the windshield in this morning it went right in way better than the other one uh, so I don't know what happened yesterday but that one went right in it looks good now we got a brand new windshield we're good to go I've been uh, just kind of working on my punch list here you can see I got a little bit of stuff crossed off I'm just kind of going down the list I got to go get a new positive battery cable. The one I have won't work. Uh, the coolant overflow, I had to do a little repair work on. Tranny cooler lines are done. Starter's done. Battery's in. Speedo cable's done. Windshield's done. Just been working through the list, trying to get stuff done. All the little things add up fast. So, um... My dad was over here, as you saw, helping me put the windshield in. And before he left, he went ahead and cleaned the bed really good and scuffed it all up so we can do the bed liner on it. We're going to do spray on truck bed coating from here down on the sides, wheel wells across the front and the tailgate. And then we're going to do the heavy duty roll on stuff on the bottom. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not but instead of putting the vinyl floor mat back in the cab here we're gonna do the uh roll on truck bed coating on the floor too so what i'm gonna do right now i really need to get the cab floor done today before i go home 
So it has time to sit and cure overnight. And then the rest of my parts for the cab are getting brought to me tomorrow. So that way the floor can be done. It can cure overnight. And then I can get on it to finish putting the cab back together. So I'm gonna do the sides and the front of the bed right now with the spray. And then while I'm letting that set up for a little bit so I don't touch it and get it all over everything, I'm gonna clean the cab floor out really, really well, scuff it up, tape off what I need to tape off. And then, uh, and then we'll paint the bed floor, paint the cab floor, and we'll see where we're at on time. Got the uh, inside sides of the bed all sprayed with bed coating. It's had a little bit of time to dry. It looks pretty good. I uh, wanted to spray it, let it dry before I rolled on the floor, like I told you. So it's all wheel wells inside. It's all done. We'll roll the floor out with the Herculiner and. Uh, I got all of the excess stuff cleaned up in here. I just got to wipe down the floor and scuff it. And uh, it'll be ready for the roll on. And in the meantime, I had some people stop by and shoot the bull and whatnot. And kind of got me slowed down on progress, which isn't great. But it happens and I'm still feeling good about time. So... Uh, but in the meantime, while I was letting that dry, I got the glove box back in, got the cigarette ashtray back in, got a factory radio put in it, and I did a whole bunch of work to this gauge cluster. I took this cluster out of the parts truck because it actually has gauges over here instead of just the dummy lights, and I wanted the gauges. And uh, so I had to change the odometer out of the other one to make it read right. So, which I still didn't make it read right. I might have to pull that back out. I don't know what I did there, but. Oh, this gauge has one less digit than uh or no it just needs to be moved over i gotta get in there and move that over anyways i rebuilt it because i wanted to make sure that it said forty-eight thousand original miles because that's all this truck has on it so i changed those out from the cluster that was in there to this cluster so that it read forty-eight thousand miles in this truck so it was right but so we made quite a bit of progress today there's a lot of stuff i didn't film uh got a bunch of stuff got a bunch of wiring sorted out got my tranny cooler done starters in batteries in 
speedo cables in, gauge clusters in, windshields in. And there's just a bunch of little things that I don't really talk that much about. Just quick, easy, little get her done things that I do. And uh, got those done too. So where we're sitting right now, I've got to put the battery cables in and other than put gas in it and it'll be ready to run. Well, it needs fluids too. It doesn't have any fluids in it. But fluids, battery cable, and gas. And it's ready to start. Um, I gotta roll the bottom of the bed, roll the floor, and then I just gotta put the doors and the cab back together, which shouldn't be too bad. And uh, I gotta put the hood latch in and I still gotta adjust the front end and tighten it down after I get the door seals tomorrow and I can align the doors right. So I say I got about a day's worth of work left, which would have me finishing the truck up tomorrow, which is Wednesday, which is what I originally scheduled, but I'm sure at four o'clock on Friday when I need to go, when I need to leave to go to my kids' football game, I'll be rushing to finish up. But either way, it's coming along. I got time, but that's gonna do it for this video. Truck's looking amazing. Look at it sitting over there. So I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, I'm excited that you guys are here watching the videos. So thank you very much. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. Please subscribe if you're not. Like, share, comment. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you think I'm gonna get it done. Let's do a poll. Leave a comment and one way or another this truck's gonna be at the show but let's do a poll in the comments do you think this truck's gonna fire up and drive around at the show or do you think it's gonna go on the trailer it's going on the trailer either way but do you think it's gonna have to be trailered or do you think it could drive itself and i'm just gonna trailer it let me know in the comments that's it for now y'all have a good one and we'll see you next time